Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. Dude, I cannot wait to do this reading for you guys. Like, it, it finally clicked. Like, I was doing a pre-shuffle and trying to tap into whatever message is meant to come out for this. And man, okay, it is a juicy one. Get ready. Okay, let me get through my normal spiel. Feel free to fast forward. If you guys are sick of hearing this, I don't blame you. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. And cross watcher, you might be dealing with a Scorpio. And I, the message could be for you. So swap around the energies, do what you need to do. This is a general message. So if it doesn't resonate with you, it's probably not your message. Please don't try to force it. And if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. Also, if you guys would like to make a good karma donation, that information is also located down below. And um, <laughs> it's already coming to me. Yeah. Okay. And um, what was I saying? Uh, good karma donation. Yes, and thank you to those who have liked and subscribed. I really appreciate it. And thank you for all the good karma donations. Cannot even tell you how much I appreciate that. And when you guys hit the like or the subscribe button, make sure that you hit the bell so that you get notifications when I go live and when I post these videos. So, Scorpio, okay. Dude, I just had to fly through that because I cannot wait. Scorpio, this is what I am seeing. I love this serpent card, okay? And this is what's going on. This is what happens like with this card that comes out if you guys have seen my other readings. All right. This could even be a little bit of a bleed through of the message from last week, okay? We'll we'll just kind of see where the story takes us, but this is going to go much more in depth because I was getting a little bit more if you guys are kind of having a problem like letting a person go out of your life you're maybe caught in a karmic cycle or circle with a specific person that's what I'm seeing is with this card and this is your element anyway right we've got all the blue that's the water element that is you Scorpio but I'm saying that there's a cosmic dynamic that you're involved in right now where it's like um it, it is a karmic cycle, okay? And it's helping you to come into a deeper understanding of yourself and of the dynamic that you're caught in. This is complete karmic cycle where the thing that always pops out to me with this card is how you go through this cycle over and over again and then you get to this point where you end up eating your tail or aka like you come to a point where you shoot yourself in the foot like that type of thing it becomes kind of like a self-sabotage karmic cycle and so it's like this is what's really beautiful about this card because i'm always drawn to how the center it looks like a freaking eyeball right so if you guys didn't see this yeah it looks like the irises and to me this is like the third eye it's waking up to self-awareness. When people talk about their pineal gland or their third eye awakening, it's where you finally, it, we go through periods of those in our lives, like different type of awakenings or, you know, opening up to different deeper levels and aspects of ourselves emotionally. Yeah. And that's what happens when it comes to when you have a third eye awakening. It's like you, you open up to deeper levels of your self-awareness and how the people in your life are reflecting aspects of yourself. So this to me is always kind of like a Buddhism koan card, okay? It's kind of like, oh, there's something that you've been questioning for a while, like something that you've been in confusion about and you keep going through the same cycle and maybe you end up back in the same exact spot multiple times and you're like, how am I freaking back here again? Like, how am I back in this same situation or the same dynamic? Or how am I back to being in this self-sabotage habit? Or maybe, like, you get ahead in your life where you get on track. You're all about yourself, like, working on your health, working on your body. You're doing all these good things for your benefit, taking care of yourself, showing yourself self-love. And then there's this pattern where you get into something, there's, there's like these steps that happen, okay? And it starts with a thought, all right? It starts with the thought, and then the thought starts gaining momentum, which causes brain chemical releases, which also gain momentum. 
So this is how you get into a pattern, like a habitual pattern that's been programmed in your subconscious mind, but it gets played out in your conscious mind and then holographically projected and created into your actual physical 3D reality. So, and then all of a sudden you end up eating your own tail, where maybe you're back to a point where all the work you've done, where you've, you've worked on your health, your body, you've been to the gym, you've done all this stuff, you made all this progress, and then all of a sudden you've gained like 20 or 30 pounds. And you're sitting there like, what the freaking crap? Like, how am I sitting back here again? That's what I'm getting. Okay, so Scorpio, this is what I was seeing too. As, and I, I am going to take this freaking card and look at the snake. That's even reaffirming it. This is the crocodile. All right. The crocodile. And I want to say is like, it's someone in your life that has literally just got their beady little eye on you. Okay. And with the jaw, okay, the thing I'm always drawn to with the crocodile is if you guys have read research on the strength of their jaw, the grip is almost that. I mean, that's why they do so much damage and the, why they're so lethal. It's the strength of their jaw, like how it can just snap down on something and grip it and hold it. And then what they do so when they grip hold of something, they take it underwater. This is so perfect. I cannot make this stuff up, spirit. Okay, so they take their their catch underwater, their prey, and then their their uh, vice like grip. They hold on to it and then they spin round and round until their like prey dies and drowns. All right. Literally, that is <laughs> like completely what I'm getting. And that's where I feel like is kind of your dynamic, Scorpio, that you keep falling into. There's someone in your life where they pop back in, okay? And then, and oh, okay, and I'm going to pull this one too. This is the dragonfly. I do think that you see a lot of synchronicities about them, okay, Scorps? But what I want to say is that you like... It's just because of the quantum physics, okay? We really do look into synchronicity so much more, like, you know, and take them for a different way. It's just because when you are telepathically, cosmically connected to someone, you will see synchronicities of them. Because you can feel when someone is thinking about you. You totally can. I have experienced this, I see it constantly, and now it is just a part of my day-to-day -day freaking life. Scorpio, so that's what's happening. You're probably seeing tons of synchronicities in your environment around this person that you're very emotionally connected to and cosmically. This could be a past life connection with the cosmic symbol here at the top. And I'm just going to throw out some other signs here, Scorpio. So this is a water symbol too. They could be another water sign, a Pisces Cancer or, or another Scorpio. Could be air sign, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I am going to just get one freaking more. Okay, yeah. Interesting. Okay, we've got the swan card. This is kind of like my twin flame card. That's a soulmate. So it's pretty much just confirming what I'm saying, Scorpio. So I want to say that you're coming across as the swan, aka maybe the dragonfly. This, all of this, it's really interesting. So, okay. I'm sorry, I know I'm just rambling at this point. <sighs> Scorpio, this is the partnership that you're in. The swan, like, they're, like I said, their soulmate, twin flame connection, that is the symbol for twin flames. So for some of you, if you want to take it there, feel free, go ahead. But I want to say that that's why you're feeling so cosmically connected, why you sense their connection, why you feel that they have a grip on you, Scorpio. Like they, and they're not going to let you go. They have got their sights on you. And I want to even say for some of you, you are like their opportunity. They see something about you and they're not going to let go. They've got that death vice like grip on you where they're not letting you out of their sights. But what's interesting is there's this mirroring going on, right? The twin flames, it's all about mirroring like unhealed pain, karmic cycles, all that type of stuff. So here's where we come back to the sea serpent, okay, Scorps? You are in a cycle with them, okay, 
where they kind of come back in and it goes back to what I was saying at the beginning where you kind of end up being back in a cycle. I think that they kind of take you through this roundabout spin where they spin you under the water until like pretty much what I'm trying to say. Sorry, let me shut the window because that's starting to bother me. Pretty much what's happening is they will come in and they kind of, they like spin you underwater, kind of drain you of your energy, and it kind of takes away all of the progress that you have made. Like everything that you have done. Because they come back in and it's like an ener energetic, like, a uh, cycle, karmic wheel cycle, and that pretty much what they do is they just come in, they get your energy, and then they flit right back out. Okay. Now, what's interesting with this swan card is Scorps. They are mirroring the part of yourself where you almost self sabotage, where you give up your boundaries. Okay. This is for one of you specific ones, but I sometimes get this message. Um, I feel like. There's a possibility, and this is the whole kind of alchemical process that you're going through. Isn't it interesting that we have no earth and no fire? So I want to say with the lack of those two, there's not a lot of commitment here. There's no grounded, earthy commitment here where this person is being very stable. There's an emotional connection. There's a telepathic, a psychic connection. And there's maybe an intellectual connection. Maybe the communication comes in really fast. But they are ultimately helping you transform. They're mirroring all these emotional aspects of yourself where you maybe sabotage your own success. You eat your own tail. You shoot yourself in the foot. And it's by, you have to look at the step-by-step -step process that leads to you where you end up eating your own tail or where you lose all the progress that you've worked towards for a while, okay? That's what they're mirroring and showing you. They're showing you how to keep your boundaries. So you've got to really, this is where the self-awareness is going to come in. And holy freaking crap, we're at 12 minutes. This is where your self-awareness comes in. The third eye awakening, a deeper level of your consciousness, of your own patterns. Because this person is waking you up to your own transformation process. You've got to start taking this self-awareness where you look, look at the trigger point, Okay. Look at the point where you start letting go of all of the work that you've been doing. What's the, what's the thought that leads up to that? What is the emotion, the brain chemical release that then gains that momentum, okay? And then all of a sudden you spin into this cycle. Let's dive in with the tarot, shall we? Yeah, let's see what comes out for Scorpio on this, dude. I'm going to try to jump into this. I am going to provide an extended reading on this one because this is juicy. Yeah, and look, we've got the moon card. So it's just reiterating. There's, I think there's some things about, yeah, I'm going to start pulling from there. There's some things that are still, this is illusions, like straight up, boom, illusions card. But this is also subconscious, habitual patterns. This is things about your own patterns in your life that are going to start start being illuminated from this connection okay because i think that you sometimes come into relationships or people that are more possessive they want you to themselves but and i'm gonna see what else comes out but ooh, i'm gonna put that one just right over there because that is just lovely popping out there scorpio i think that you kind of come across people that um expect you to live a certain way or they like place all of their demands their emotions on you they just unload their emotional crap onto you and then you're left kind of sitting there back in this dynamic where you're you're not feeling happy and satisfied you lost all of your progress that you had worked towards forever look at that this is my karma card so this is what's happening and i am going to take it upside down because what's happening scorpio is that there's this this there's this subconscious patterning chemicals with inside of you because karma karma people think it's this like crazy woman running around punishing everyone no it's whatever brain chemical releases that you have in your cells 
the receptors on your cells, there's a specific receptor for each brain chemical. And if you are thinking an excess amount of thoughts that release that brain chemical, like an overload of something, like say stress or cortisol, then your cells will create more and more receptors to take on that incoming chemical. And that's your karma. So then you end up getting attracted to more of those situations that will reflect your vibrational and chemical state inside of your body. So that's what you're waking up to an awareness of, Scorpio. This is your awakening process and it's going to help in your transformation. That's the dragonfly. That's boom, big time transformation that's happening with this whole connection here, okay? Look at that. We've got, man, these cards are freaking intense. This is your intuition. This is another one of myself, like my subconscious pattern cards where um, the whole goal around this, because this is my high, high intuition card. This, I mean, is completely reaffirming the sea serpent card. Once you start learning to quiet your conscious mind, like a, like start meditating, because you've got to quiet that down to start listening to your intuition and to your habitual patterns. You'll start to see them more in your 3D reality. You'll start to connect the dots much more. And then that's where you start to learn to listen to your intuition that's going to tell you the next steps to take in this process, okay? Maybe when it comes to releasing this person, and I'm saying that, because the more you listen, you're going to change this karmic cycle, and where you're going to get out of this grip that you have in this relationship. And why I'm ultimately coming to the world card. Closing out a chapter. Look at that similarity. The sea serpent and the world. It's like closing out this karmic freaking cycle. All of these cards. They're so going in line. And look, we've got the hanged man next. That's the next card I was going to pop out. Look at all these freaking major arcanas. This is insane, Scorpio. This is... A huge chapter that's coming to a close in your life because I think some of you are starting to see it for how it really is. You're like, what in the freaking crap? Like every single time this happens and your intuition is speaking to you. I know it is like, and this is how I'm going to tell you what happens. Okay. Look at this. Okay. I'm going to take these two cards. All right. So this this is my tradition card. When it's right side up, it's like the way that it's popping out to me today. So first of all, this is divine guidance, okay? Your guides are trying to, your spirit is there working with you, trying to work you through this dynamic so that you can close out this chapter or this relationship or this environment, whatever it is that you're dealing with. But here is where it's going to turn upside down. This is like my nonconformist card. This is like a... um an activist card it's someone who's like more rebellious they're like they rebel against even themselves so i think scorpio you might be seeing the pattern of the way that you do things that it's not even yours it's like old chemical crap passed down from your parents and you're starting to see it and you're gonna start rebelling away from the old way that maybe you've seen things done in your family, the hanged man upside down, like both of these cards upside down, I freaking love. Because I think, Scorpio, you've been stuck for a really long time. That's where you felt stuck. This is where you're getting perceptive, your perception shift, like seeing things, like this is a complete 360 degree change in perception where your your whole reality has almost been shifted upside down and you're like whoa I finally see it and this is what I'm going to tell you is the key to that okay anytime you feel confusion around a person or disappointment or dissatisfaction when you feel that and and like one thing is one way one is another that's your intuition speaking to you because when you have that split aspect within yourself where your intuition is saying, hey, this here's a red flag. This is what's happening. And then there's another part of yourself where you debate with yourself. That's your key right there. And that's where I want you to look at. Like, where's that moment where the confusion comes in, where you start to question yourself? Because that is your chemical, your karmic pattern. That's what's getting you started down this path to where you end up self-sabotaging shooting yourself in the foot and you don't like you're kind of moving away from your own self-mastery okay 
like you move away from even your own self-discipline, okay? This is what's really beautiful because I think that now you're going to start seeing it. You're going to close out this chapter, stop doing this cycle, whatever it is with this person or whatever cycle that you're caught in. And then here you are jumping in your chariot moving forward. So here's what's coming. Okay, Scorps, it's all really positive. And I am blown away by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcanas on the board that is i've never seen that this is a huge i have the chills right now this is a huge cycle that you're going to be coming to a conclusion on oh freaking man so okay that's where i'm going to leave it scorps i am going to like dive into this further in the extended portion and I am so curious where this is headed. Like if there, I do think there's something new that you're moving into with this chariot card once you put a close to this energy, to this chapter. So yeah, if you guys want to follow me below, I have not started a Vimeo channel first because I have had requests for extended readings and I want to see if enough people, like if it's going to be worth it for me to start a Vimeo channel before I do anything. So here's what I'm going to do. If you guys want to unpack this further and see what happens, go ahead and click my PayPal link below. Send a $10 donation and in the description, just put your email address and put Scorpio below. And then I will email you the link to be able to dive into this much further. Okay, Scorpio? So yes, this is amazing. I'm so excited for you and your whole transformation process. This is huge. I cannot say that enough with the cosmic and all the majors that came out for you today. So yes, if this is kind of where we leave things, I will see you in your next reading. And if not, I will see you over on the extended portion of this reading. Sending you so much love. Take care.